uh, as as a PS in charge of uh, internal security and national administration, uh, I would want to bring it to the attention of uh, my colleagues that uh, we have uh, a good cadre of officers spread across the country who are at our service, and uh, they are much better placed to support and facilitate the work that we do as principal secretaries. And uh, I know we will uh, have shared this before, and there is a separate communication that I'll be uh, sending out today, so that then uh, we continue to make use or make good use of, uh, of, of these officers. But uh, more generally across the table is that uh, we have an opportunity to better work together as colleagues. And uh, we are no longer new in the offices that we occupy. And uh, it doesn't take much to always reach out uh, for help or for support and also for clarity whenever things are not uh, very obvious. And uh, the office of the PCS is... Uh, well uh, placed to also support us in, 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 in that respect. And the officers uh, who work uh, in, in, in the office of the PCS, together with uh, the officers who work with uh, PS uh, Veronica. And uh, lastly is that uh, I'm looking forward to us having a, a very engaging session this morning uh, for better coordination of, uh, of, of government uh, functions. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the agenda before you is clear. It is divided into five sections that include presentations on topics carefully chosen to drive us on the right path. Please keep the presentations short and to the point. The essence is to have the meeting, to have the meeting takeaways and in the process help us unlock issues, bedeviling delivery of services to the people of Kenya. Let us all stay on the straight and narrow to save our time. Um, towards the end of the session, this uh, conversation also seems to coincide with the release of uh, the EACC report, their survey and all that. Um, the headlines are fairly scary today. So somewhere along the line, uh, I think it would be important because you are the principal secretaries, key drivers in this process of, of uh, running government, uh, it would be important that we address ourselves uh, briefly to those issues. In conclusion, the people of Kenya wield the sovereign power and we, the leaders, exercise delegated power the responsibility bestowed upon us, therefore, is heavy, and it behoves us to deliver services that will enable all our people to enjoy economic and social prosperity. His Excellency President William Ruto pronounced himself on 1st November 2023 on the importance of the whole of government approach through the Executive Order Number 2 by establishing five coordination organs to enhance coordination for service delivery to the people of Kenya. The order clearly spelled out the role of the Office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary as a focal point for coordination of national government operations with the National Government Coordination Secretariat having the working mandate of coordination and oversight. In fulfillment of this mandate, the National Government Coordination Secretariat has undertaken a range of initiatives to spearhead this mandate. These include holding several collaboration meetings with the National Government Administration Organization through the Ministry of Interior and Administration of Government, developing a draft coordination oversight, supervision and management framework, and developing an outline of a list of priority projects programs and policies for coordination and oversighting. We will soon be sharing with you the latter two documents for your reference once they are finalized and ready for presentation at the next NDIC. During our engagement with regional commissioners,
one of the recommendations made was that the National Development Implementation Committee should hold regular meetings, regular meetings, and indict, this is an indictment on ourselves. These meetings will henceforth be held every three months without fail. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency President Ruto has severally reminded us to protect public resources with zeal to be able to actualize the bottom-up economic transformation agenda better again. The President raised the issue during the last cabinet retreat in Navasha, where we were all in attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, we have not been overzealous in protection of public resources. Duplications and overlaps in some of our MDS and state agencies is shocking. As a result, His Excellency the President, Dr. William Ruto has directed the consolidation process of state agencies to commence to stop duplicity of functions and wastages. We have legally created state agencies that are similar in mandate, and all of them depend on the exchequer for resources. As a result, the exchequer has to resort to taxing citizens to raise these resources. This is not prudent utilization of our resources. We will be receiving a presentation today from the National Council of Law Reporting for us to appreciate just how serious this matter is. In addition, it is instructive to note that where we have signed agreements with development partners, for example, there are many cases where loans remain undisbursed because of non-fulfillment of conditions precedent to their effectiveness. As such, we continue to repay large amounts of commitment fees even though the loans are not effective. I therefore wish to request the PS National Treasury to take stock of these loans and provide us with a report detailing the status of each. And I'm happy he's here. He'll be able to, he'll be able to help us on this, on this particular uh, issue as well. Further, we have many signed MOUs, but implementation is very weak. And in some cases, the MOU just remain that, MOUs, without any follow-up. It is very important that we optimize on the available resources that we have. Through the presentation by the State Department of Foreign Affairs today, and the PS uh, Abraham Singo is here, we also expect all ministries to start taking the necessary follow-up, follow-ups and report progress in our next NDIC meeting. This again is so important because some of these MOUs are also linked to the Treasury issue uh, and they are there. Um, and uh, uh, I'm sure I can only say we'll wait to hear as they present where we stand on, this, on these issues. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the agenda before you is clear. It is divided into five sections that include presentations on topics carefully chosen to drive us on the right path. Let me take this opportunity uh, to welcome you all to this first NDIC meeting of 2024. You recall that on 22nd March 2023, we held our inaugural National Development Implementation Committee meeting at the Kenya School of Government where we agreed on specific deliverables. The takeaways from the meeting were clear, that there will be a paradigm shift in the management of public affairs. The trajectory will be driven by the whole of government approach, characterized by customer-oriented, high-performing teams focused on set targets, excellence, and professionalism. One year down the line, silo mentality, self toughs lethargy and inefficiency are still evident in the management of public affairs.
this has slowed down service delivery. We should never allow these issues to define us and become our bane. We must end them now. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency President Ruto has severally reminded us to protect public resources with zeal to be able to actualize. Able to actualize. Being the first national development implementation to cut a tree and given hundred acts to you spend 90 minutes sharpening the axe in 10 minutes to cut the tree. Don't. NDIC is responsible for projects throughout the entire delivery cycle. MTF for national government priority policies, programs and... The, um, the remarks of the chairman will be pre- and also the PS interior, Mr. Raymond Omolo, to usher... Your Excellency, in the minutes, um, before I seek a proposal and a seconder, we had um, action matrix of which a number of items. Thank you, PS. Thank you, PS, uh, President. Uh, good morning. Good morning once again. But uh, more generally, uh, last minute is that uh, I'm looking forward to us having PS interior. I'm requesting maybe the sound. We should never allow these issues to define us and become our own. We must end them. The business department can be safety and foreign affairs. And all of them depend on the exchequer. Good morning. Under the national development implementation, we the necessary for our and report before I hand over to the past presenters. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for those brief and candid remarks. Your 